Mexico's battered peso got a boost after Sunday night's U.S. presidential debate between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Investors have been cautiously watching the ups and downs of the political campaign as the two candidates slug it out. After hovering close to a record low of 20 pesos to the dollar, the peso jumped more than 2 percent to a one-month high. This is giving some relief to Mexico's stock market. But it's still weak compared to just two years ago when its value was worth almost 50 percent more. Hardest hit are Mexican companies which rely on U.S. imports. Ernesto Mizrahi owns a security company that specializes in bulletproof cars. Our growth had been expanding by between 15 and 20 percent every year. We are now expecting sales to drop because we have suffered over the exchange rate. This is why we're shifting our focus to rentals. Many factors are to blame for the dramatic drop in Mexico's currency, most notably the fall in global oil prices. But it may be the U.S. presidential election that has had the biggest influence. The United States is Mexico's main trading partner. Donald Trump's platform to build a wall and enact more trade restrictions with Mexico has worried investors here. It's not OPEC today. Some analysts expect the value of the peso will change again, depending on who wins in November. If he wins, this, this may get to 21, 22. But if not, we shall see, you know, uh, an 1850, you know, a price range, very 70, 90, 1850. But that's the reality. It's not, it's not something that we can do. It's just, it's impossible to try to control something that is completely out of our hands. But there is a silver lining of sorts to the weak peso. The biggest source of foreign income for Mexicans comes from remittances sent from family members living in the U.S. For these families, a strong dollar means more pesos are now being sent back home. Martin Markovitz, CCTV, Mexico City.